What do you think of Goodell's judgment? Um, I think that Roger is a extremely smart man. I think he's a very, very good man, and he's done a phenomenal job for the NFL owners, taking the league to unprecedented heights in revenue. Um, I think he's made some some very big mistakes in how he's handled players, specifically coaches, in fairness in meeting out discipline, um, specifically. And I think... Um, like what? Uh, well, I think the things that he's made the biggest mistakes on, not that anybody cares what I think about it, because I'm not the commissioner and he doesn't work for me, um, but I think... Yeah, but you've also, because of your success, earned the... Or earned a voice. Yeah, people like, uh, let, let me put it this way, fans seem to not like Roger for the way he's punished their favorite teams and their players. And so specifically, I think Deflategate was a big, big issue. Obviously, I think he, the, the job that Roger did handling that, I thought was um, very poor in, in uh, the face of overwhelming scientific evidence that the Patriots did not deflate their footballs. Um, he still decided to suspend the guy four games, which is equivalent to using steroids, which, as we all know, would give you an enormous uh, competitive advantage. Uh, in addition to that, even if he was deflating him, I'm not sure why we're supposed to care as fans or players or as anybody. I don't even know why you have a rule about how inflated the football has to be if a guy and this goes back this goes back to the fact that the nfl is an entertainment business if the guy wants to throw a pancake out there but he can throw 100 yards down the field and complete 90 percent of his passes that's better for the fans they love to see entertainment they love to see offense we should be encouraging these things these are the exact type of things that you should be encouraging out of the players. You should be encouraging Tom Brady to try to do his job as well as he possibly can within some type of framework. And the only reason you would have like steroid guidelines is because we know that steroids are harmful to players' health. That's why we ban steroids. Not because we don't want to see superhumans running around crashing into each other. Oh, right, but you have to have some set of uniform rules and regulations, even not just against things that are health. But, but, but if, if it's equal, why would you have the rule? Mm -hmm. that's, my, that's my question. So as long as everybody's allowed to deflate their footballs, why should we care? If it's better for the game, if it's more offense and it's more entertaining, we should be encouraging these guys to do it. So as long as it doesn't give you uh, an unfair advantage, which in my opinion and the opinion of most people, it's more of a comfort thing. It would be, to, to me, the, the way I saw the deflated football thing was more like I get to wear a pair of broken in shoes because I like these shoes, they're more comfortable to me. And for, for Tom Brady, maybe he liked the football that was a little softer so he could grip it a little bit better. I don't know why anybody should care. You think Goodell should still be commissioner? You know, that's not my decision and I think that... I mean, it, if it was your decision. If it was my decision, if I was a player or if I was an owner? How about both? All right, so if I was an owner, I would love Roger Goodell because he has taken every single bullet from the NFL that's come their way. He's been compensated handsomely for it. Um, he's made him an incredible amount of money and revenue. He, he was able to leverage the players and, and win some significant concessions from the players in the last bargaining agreement. So if I'm an owner, I'm thinking, Roger Goodell is our guy, he is awesome. If I'm a player, um, I would ask him to maybe change some things. I think that he could do a good job. So if you were a player, would you keep him? No, if I was a player, I wouldn't. I would put somebody in charge. But this is a player standpoint, so right, it's sure. kind of kind of silly because if the players were running the league, it'd be silly. But uh, if I was a player, certainly I think the mistakes he's made with um, his discipline in Deflate Gate, his discipline in the Ray Rice situation where he disciplined him, and then when the P the PR was bad on the NFL, they went back and they threw the book at him, and then now he's not in the league. Um, you look at the Saints Bounty Gate. I played with Scott Fujita who was kind of wrapped up in that thing, which I thought was handled poorly on, on Rogers' behalf. I thought that, um, you know, disciplining some of the Saints players for doing something that the whole league had been doing and disciplining them as, um, 
steeply as he did was not fair. I thought that maybe the best way to handle it would have been sort of more of a political approach where you kind of let the teams know that, hey, we've come under the, uh, uh, we've become aware of a situation where, you know, the coaches and players might have little pools of money going for players getting big hits or injuries. Or, and we don't like that. That has no place in the NFL. We're going to stamp that out. And if this next year we find out any of that is happening, then we're going to punish people. You know, it's almost like uh, I think the approach that he took was we're going to try to crucify one person so that everybody gets the message. And I don't know if that's the best way to uh, run your your league. So if I was a player, I would I would uh, I would remove him. But nobody cares what I think. So <laughs> why did you root for the Patriots in the Super Bowl? Well, I rooted for the Patriots because, as an NFL employee, more revenue is better for the players, and so more people are going to watch when Brady and Goodell are on the stage together because they know the history and the drama behind it. And because personally, the, the deflate gate, the deflate drama. gate drama, I mean, years of litigation on that. And uh, personally, I kind of am a fan. I like entertainment and I do enjoy watching awkward moments on TV and between people <laughs> that you've been following the history. And uh, it's it's fun to me.